Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live from the Sweet and Snack Show. We are here with Mike and Jackie. And tell us a little bit about your company. Well, we're the Lovely Candy Company. Everything we do is all about gluten-free, non-GMO, and healthy, better-for-you ingredients. And the inspiration? Lovely Jackie. Okay. Uh, she, had a lot of, she had a lot of food allergies. Hmm. And through those food allergies, she developed uh, a gluten intolerance. And her favorite candy was still red licorice. So we went out to find some gluten-free red licorice. Couldn't find it, right? So started thinking about, well, there should be gluten-free licorice in this day and age. She did some research. Came up empty, and so what does a good entrepreneur and good husband do? He makes it, <laughs> right? He starts a company to make the licorice. So that's what we did. That was the genesis of the company, yeah. making, making gluten-free licorice. So why do you like red licorice so much? What is it? Cheery, chew, I don't know, <laughs> nonstop. It's just good. So when he said he was going to set out to make this and start a company around it, what were your thoughts? Because you're co-creating this. Yeah, we got started in the kitchen trying to make it. It didn't work so well, so we ha got some help. <laughs> yeah, so talk about that first, it didn't work so well product. What did that look and taste like? Oh, well, I can picture it. It was on the stove, and uh, it was very globulous. It didn't, didn't set up, you know, so it was more like something that you would enjoy through a straw. Yeah. So what's your background? Well, I'm an entrepreneur, uh, inventor. Um, so, you know, I, I used to make toys and children's books and things. However, I was a candy buyer a long, long time ago. So that gave me at least enough confidence to say, well, I know candy. We can do this. Yeah. yeah. So the initial product was the red licorice? That was the idea. Okay. It actually took us longer than we anticipated. How long? About 18 months. Yeah. yeah. So in the meantime, we, uh, we came up, we used Jackie's mother's caramel formula and also created a wonderful caramel that was gluten-free. We just used her, her mother's recipe and changed the ingredients to fit our profile. And that was great. Yeah. So the first product was a caramel. And fruit juice. And fruit juice? <laughs> yeah, fruit juice. Right. Oh, Made with real fruit, seeds, no colors. No um, well, there was two packages with three flavors each, cherry, blueberry, apple, and I don't remember. Blackberry. Blackberry. Some unusual, you know, fruits. Yeah. How do you come up, decide to come up with those particular flavors? Because you can, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a uh, consumer group of two. No, not really. That's all no. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't sell it, you eat it all. <laughs> That's right. No, uh, we can, um, you know, we do certainly do a sphere of influence, and then we look at the macro trends, you know. So a lot of things that we're coming out with now, we're, we're, the macro trends are in our favor. You know, when it comes to certain things, you know, um, certain new ingredients like honey. Honey's been on a fire trend for a couple of years, yeah. and we're doing a lot so more. We have this. These yes, are honey, gummy honey gummy bears. That's These right. These are really delicious. We think they're the best gummy yeah. bear in the world. Yeah. And, and they have no gelatin. And, yeah. 30% of that product is honey. So they're just delicious. So caramel and the fruit shoes, what was the next, what were the next product? We finally got the licorice done. You did? Yeah. We did a black. Why is it so hard? Well, you know, all licorice, uh, typically, typical licorice is wheat. That's the number one ingredient, right? And there's a certain way that... Uh, that type of product behaves when it's cooked and then cooled and extruded through those large extrusion machines. And gluten-free ingredients typically don't want to cooperate very well with that type of machinery. So it's a lot of chemistry. Yeah. So where can you find your products? Where can people get them? Oh boy. So uh, we're in kind of all channels, uh, a lot of different grocery stores, in and out of different grocery stores on the West Coast like uh, Ralph's and Rayleigh's. Uh, we've been in and out of Publix, um, in the Midwest, the fresh, the fresh market, soon to be fresh time. Um, 
in and out of Woodman's, uh, we've been in Myers, um, and then we do sea stores, like Plaid Pantry out in the West Coast, and Come and Go in the Midwest, um, a lot of airports across the country. Is it difficult to, like, the airport piece, or getting in airports, or not really? I think the airports these days are really catering to new discovery of new interesting brands because I think that draws in those travelers into the stores because they see something new. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about where can they find on your website? What's, what's your website? Our website is lovelycandyco.com. Okay. Yeah. And so I want to talk about some proud moments, some milestones, but um, you know, with your journey, what are some of the challenges in, this, uh, in the candy business? Well, candy business, or maybe any food business, or any consumer products business, you know, going out and fighting to get that new distribution. And then once you get it, uh, you may not sell as well as a major, you know, 25-year-old uh, historical brand. And that's a hard thing to overcome with buyers, you know, that expectation of, well, it doesn't sell like brand A, well, it's not going to sell like brand A, and it probably is not going to sell like brand A next year either. But as an industry, if we're all embracing innovation, we have to continue to rotate in new products, try new things. That's good for the industry. It's good for the aisle. It's good for the consumer. And, uh, and it's a, that provides treasure hunts for the consumer when they come into the aisle. Not always the same. Right. And that also brings in new folks. So it's a, it's a uh, very important part of the industry, having innovation and um, but, but that was probably a challenge. Yeah. yeah. I want to get each of your proud moments, like a milestone that you're especially proud of uh, from the lovely journey. Jackie, what's been a, a moment that you look at and you think, this is... It speaks to me most because I'm a gluten-free consumer and oh. when I would go to like the gluten-free expos and do our product, there were people there that had never had licorice. Or people who haven't had it in 10 years because they found out they were allergic. So to see those smiles on people's faces, like real joy, yeah. that makes me happy. Yeah, totally. And then what about you? What's uh, been a proud moment from the, the candy journey? Well, honestly, I get the same amount of satisfaction when I see people eat the candy and they just love it. But I will say, so there's that. And there's also every time I see it on a retail shelf, I get the same same amount of gratification that there it is yeah you know we're, we're, we're doing the right thing and uh, we just got to keep at it and more and more consumers are going to find it and love it and so uh, I get it every day when I see that retail what's on the horizon for products or the company oh boy well what are you working on you know we're we have no shortage of products at the moment <laughs> you know we're, we uh, love to innovate and think about well what else can we do with those ingredients or how can we change a, a conventional product into something that's very interesting we like to give a hook to everything that we do so I mean we have a very long roadmap um, I will say that down the road we are looking at you know down the road you know maybe we inch our way a little more out of the confectionery space or further on the fringes of the confectionery space and start talking about snacks and whatever that means yeah yeah. Well, so you sort of have some snacks here, right? Pretzel yeah. balls. Gluten-free pretzel balls. Yeah. So that's kind of like yeah. salty, crunchy, and sweet. Yeah, totally. Well, you guys, everyone should check out lovelycandy.com. Yeah. Is that the website? Lovely. Lovelycandyco.com. Lovelycandyco.com. Check it out from uh, the Sweet and Snack Show. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other if you find the sand right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand